Bonacci. Yes, mommy. Take. Don't worry. Yes, is inside. Where is Jasmine? She's inside sleeping. You can sit here and eat. What? Talk to me, what happened? Are you okay? No, I... I just had a dream. Okay, what happened in the dream? You tried to kill your sister's kids. God forbid! You tried to poison them. I reject it. Honey, what sort of dream is that? I, I can't really tell. So in that dream, you... You know what? It's... It's not a funny dream. It's a very scary dream. Honestly, I think you need to book an appointment with the doctor. Me. A daisy. Poison Chidima's kids. My own sister. No, that's not possible. It, it's okay. It, it's uh, just it's only a dream, but it was it was real. But you know I love kids, right? So why on earth would I want to poison my sister's it, kids? I, it's okay. It, I, it's not real. It's it just looked real in my dream. Okay, it's it's a nightmare. Honey, it's all right. You need to see the pastor. This... Babe, I just had a dream. It's not real. All right. It's, it's fine, let's... I'm not accusing you of anything. I just said... I saw you in my dream trying to poison your sister's kids and that's a bit weird. Okay, can we sleep back? Yeah, now? sure. Honey? Yeah? Let's sleep. Yeah, sure. you ask me to shut up? Who are you? Eh? Do you know me? Who Did you? you ask questions? Who are you? Do you know I who I am? Are you? Who are you? I, look, 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 you... Uncle, uncle, sit down, please. We are not here to fight anymore. Just allow me to talk to this old fool. You are the old fool. You are the old fool. You, 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 see, you keep quiet. Keep quiet. You keep quiet. What is all this? Sit down. Let's discuss why we are here. Nene Bobon Chrissy. Hired elder. Nene. Let me talk to this big fool. You have a tiny fool. A woo. It's an old okay to child. Our in law. You said you are no longer interested in marrying our daughter. Like I said before, 
I am no longer interested in marrying her. Oh, he has said it again. Said what? Is he begging you to concur? Just like that. Are you okay? Eh? You think you can stand in the presence of the elder and just say you don't... What did she do to you? Explain to us. That's what we want to hear. So she must not do anything before I return her to her parents' house. Oh. Uh -uh. No, I don't understand. They're no longer interested in marrying her. After two children. Two healthy, beautiful children. A boy and a girl and a child talk. Hey, one one. Mbana, I won't take this one. This is unacceptable by me. I won't take it. Mbana. Woman, keep quiet. Oh, yeah, no, no, enough. Enough. And then maybe we'll give. Let her talk. She has mouth. Talk. Talk. Try to become a channel. If you're a but old uncle, I have to go back for you. Never more turn the elder. I nyari na fum. I go back to sleep with glasses and hope. I am no longer interested in marrying her. She can go with the kids. I said I don't want. Eh? I rather go to her than stay in this marriage. Eh? That is your new house. Yes. I gotta go to hell, kampu. Where are they? What are they? Nariya. Go there and burn to ashes. That is where you rightfully belong. It's a lie. It's a lie. In fact, you should go to that hell and burn with him. I think he deserves rain off. My brother's son cannot go to hell. The ghosts of the land cannot permit it. No, no, ghosts. No, my ghosts. Only me, no, my ghosts. Hey, he came to break to somebody's marriage. He's not ghosts. He's not a ghost. He's born. No, my wife. Are you married? Are you supposed to be here? Elders are in a meeting. You are a woman. You're supposed to go inside. So, give me a book. Give me a book. Give me a book. Give me a book. Look at this woman. Oh, man, Joe. If you're a girl, you're a girl. You're a girl. You're a girl. Enough. Enough. So, from who's good? Why did you decide to bring my daughter back to my house? I want to know. She did not do anything. I don't just want the marriage anymore. Don't play jokes on me here. Hey! Are you mad? I am not mad, sir. I said I'm no longer interested. I am not. Can you be talking to me like that? Kenneth, you don't need to pull these stones. So you drove all the way from the city, eh? To this place to embarrass yourself. Are you thinking embarrassing me? You know me now. I cannot be embarrassed. Chidema. I am here to tell your people officially that I am no longer interested. Period. Remove that thing from your eyes. I don't know if you have turned blind suddenly. Since you came here, you used that black something and blocked your eyes. It's not able to give it to the Sanyare so that he can see. I don't know. Has he turned blind? Hey! Can I think your mama? If I'm not coming now, eh? Can I go? Eh? Abuja, Abuja, Buru, Brainy, a brain boss, yeah, Garaga. My daughter is very special to me. And I'm very sure she did not do anything to you. But my only regret is giving my daughter to a baby boy. Look, 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 look at it. My happiness is that you have opened your mouth and said it before everybody that our daughter did not do anything to you. You said in the presence of this to Abino, Abino uncle. You said it. That's my happiness. Yes. Um, young man. We have had you. And we are going to prepare the bright prize we paid on her head. And invite you to come and collect it. Okay? Ah, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. You have just said the right thing. Uh, if two people that are living together don't want to live together again, it is not by force. Just like this woman. I don't know how this old guy is managing her. Oh, Okay. Okay. I can't I can't I can't do that. 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 I can't do that is what the God forbid it is so that has it. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. For you are my. You are my left. Of wife, you people. For you are my left hand, offer. 
Be careful. If I'm a heba, you can't understand that point to your nose. Yeah, I will scatter your head with you. Uncle? Oh, wow. Hey! Wow! <laughs> All this for me? Oh, wow! Thank you very much, my son. You are the true son of your father. Omekadnia! <laughs> uncle, uncle, I'm so happy the way you handle everything there. I'm so impressed. Uh, so the way you are gingering, telling the, you know, I'm so yeah. impressed. Eh? Uh, no, nobody can force any man to take a bad wife. Yeah. Nobody. Yes, uh, just forget about that one. Uh, but, my son, you did not tell me what that girl did, though. You only called me on phone that uh, you want to take her back to her parents. Uh, what did she do? Uncle, forget that one. In due time, I will let you know. Uh -huh. eh? But for now, let me go and drop you. Eh? Okay, okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my son. Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. What nonsense are you talking about? Listen, how could you do that without telling me? What are you saying? Listen, I, I told you to wait, God damn it! Fine. No one is asking you not to get married to Angela, but you can't do that now! Kenneth, I made you who you are. I gave you that house. I know how many times you have gone to Brazil because of me. So you listen to me when I talk to you. I'm your older brother. You know what? Just come to my office right now. Hello? Hello? Let me explain myself. Please, I'm, 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 I'm sorry about that. There is nothing to explain. Leave my house right now! Kenneth, there is nothing to explain. No, tell me! How could you do this to me? Kenneth, you're married with two kids. How dare you? Lie to me! Kenneth! There is nothing to explain. Leave here, now! I'm sorry. Just sit down. Let me explain to you. Just please. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I don't want to hear this stupid explanation. I don't want to hear it. All I want you to do right now is to leave this place. Get the hell out of my house! I said I'm sorry. There is nothing to sorry about. Kill it! How could you do this to me? You hid your marital affair away from me. We did it in abroad. We came back to Nigeria. Only for me to find out that you're married with two kids. Kenneth, I swear to God, if you don't live here in this minute, I will kill, I will do something drastic to you. Live here! So, so let me just explain to you. Explain myself. Please. Please. What do you want to explain to me? No, tell me! What do you want to explain to me, Kenneth? Live here! Let me define your face with this, with this bottle! You have this human! Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Care to hell with you? It will not be well with you. It shall never be well with you. Care. I thought I have found someone, someone there to me. Only to find out there is more. I said no. Kenneth cannot leave my younger sister like that. After how many years of marriage? Two kids? That is not even possible. It's not possible. Okay, tell me, how can you just return to the country, drive straight to the village, start telling my parents that he's no longer interested, interested in the marriage? Why? It's not even like they were having issues. Really? He's not taking my calls. He's nowhere to be found. 
confused. What kind of wicked act is that? This is so heartbreaking. Why? Just like that. Can you imagine? Kenneth that I bought clothes for. I fed Kenneth. I made sure he was fine under my roof. What did he pay me back? My sister got back from school. He climbed her, got her pregnant, molested her. As if that wasn't enough. I was actually trying to keep my cool because of you. Right now, I don't care if he's your brother. Tell Kenneth that it's better he comes back, take my sister and the kids. If not, heaven will let loose. Rubbish. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Your brother is not being my cause. Ken is not taking my cause. See, I'm going to do something drastic. I'm going to do something that if anybody hears it, nobody is going to blame me. Was this what he promised me? Was this how he promised to take care of my sister? Now, Kelvin, answer me. Ada, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Please, I promise to find a way around this entire situation. But first, you need to calm down. You can't keep yelling every time. You need to relax. Gosh, I've suffered. I've really suffered. So my own sister, little Chidima, will now be a baby mama. Eh? A divorcee. Really? See, Kelvin, I asked you to send this boy to Brazil when he wanted to travel. You refused. Now see it. He has turned my sister to a baby mama. But your sister asked you to calm down. You need to relax. Yelling or screaming is not going to solve anything. We need to put heads together and ensure everything is fine. Please. Going to calm down, but you need to call your brother. You need to bring him here. Let's iron this out. He cannot leave my sister like that. It cannot happen. And I'll just call in my brother before you walked in. Like I said, you need to calm down. I'll put a call across to him. I'll invite him over, and I promise to settle this this problem once and for all. Please. You need to calm down. Babe, this dude has a wife and two kids. Yes, he kept it away from me all this while. How I find out? A woman from the neighborhood told me, even with pictures, he did not deny anything, Annabelle. He did not. Man. Ah! Oh, man. I'm telling you, God will punish some men in a very ruthless way. Yes, so. I have thrown the engagement ring a long time ago. I have thrown it away. Uh -uh. You don't trust me, babe? I have done that. I swear I can't... Yes, I want to be left alone. I don't want to see him. I don't even want to see him near my house. Do you know that I rejected a lot of men? A lot of suitors all because of this dude. 
Yes. I just want to be left alone. I don't want him to even come close to me. I want him to stay on his lane. All I want to do right now is to go back to Brazil. That's my plan. Yes. All right now. Take care. We'll talk later. All right. Man. Man will always be man. Hey, Chineke. They have laughed and laughed and laughed so hard. I just wish I wake up from this ugly dream. My daughter doesn't deserve this wickedness. What has she done to deserve this wickedness? Look at her fine, fine children. Woman, let me think. Please, just let me think. Let me think. Please, stop. Is it not better than bringing her back in, 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 in casket? Please, just stop. Just like that? Chai! My husband. Just like that! You see, God, God will judge Kenneth and his generation. God will judge that boy. That is what I believe in. God will judge him. You never know peace in his life. Chidima. Papa. So you, you, you don't have issue with your husband? No, Papa, we never had any issues at all. So he just came from from, 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 from Brazil and decided to pack up the marriage? Yes. Yes, now. You have seen it. White Brazilian girl says she can go get wakiri wakiri in one. Plastered bomb bomb. He didn't see this one. No, wakiri wakiri. I don't do me. Bomb bomb, he did not see it. All that plastered wakiri wakiri bomb bomb. Go for her. She very, she very, she. So, who cool, so, huh? I forgot his own family. It will not be well with Kenneth. See, Kenneth, that boy will suffer. Tie! Hey, whoa! But it, it's all right, Papa. It's fine. I, you don't have to bother yourself. Don't bother like me like this. I'm not bothered. Mm -hmm. There must be something. Something wrong somewhere. We, we, we have to look for... There's something wrong somewhere. Just like that, you know. It's like a movie to me. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. So stop budging yourself. Just let it be. It's like a movie. No matter that it's like a movie. Ha! Chine again, Nambo. Kenneth will never see any woman better than my daughter. He will never see any woman, whoever he wants to go and marry tomorrow. We will be beneath the legs and the and the and the being of uh, of Chidima, my daughter. See my daughter, oh, stay with her sister comfortably. Her sister is catering for her, taking care of her, providing for her. He came from nowhere to impregnate her. As if that was not enough, the heart as if I was going to die. He pleaded for mercy. Uh, 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 and forgiveness. We forgave him and he asked for her hand in marriage. We obliged him. We say, marry her. I pers personally say, make sure she's happy in your house. After Jasmine, the second baby, he said he's no longer interested. No problem. God will judge. My God will judge you, Kenneth. You will never know peace like I told you earlier. The man will come peace. I'm happy. She did my, you're still good. You, it's not as if you have two children already. You are still intact. So you will see a better man that will deserve your body. This is your shape. You will marry. Don't worry yourself. Nonsense. Why go your brain box? No problem. She's well. Nam. Mamma, no. I know you have no reason. Let me go and make you something to eat. Oh, it's a one. You know, Maritama. You know, Maritama.
got you pregnant? Who impregnated you? Please don't call me. I'm sorry, sister. Honey, allow me to break this girl's head. Who impregnated you? Sister, it's the work of the devil. They will kill you. I was trying to save this girl. I was trying to save her from all these useless boys. What did she do? She went out, opened her legs like, 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 like. Honey, oh, 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 leave me alone. Stop. Start talking now. Student or lecturer, who got you pregnant? I'm sorry, sister. Please forgive me. Yeah. Who got you pregnant? Can you stop? Babe, what's wrong with you? After all the money I spent, spent to take you to the uni, you disappointed me. Start talking. Who impregnated you? Babe, can you relax? What is wrong with you? Can you pull yourself together? Finish. Can you just relax? Just relax and let me handle things my way. Please. Fine. She should just say who impregnated her. That's all I want. Just relax. She's trying to speak. I'm calm. I'm calm. Come here. Come close. <laughs> what happened? How did you get pregnant? So sorry. How did you get I'm pregnant? Sorry, Are you not the one that asked him? Ada? Ada, can you just keep quiet? Honey, I'm quiet. Start speaking. Go ahead. How did you get pregnant? Who got you pregnant? It's... Who? This is not the you. It's Kenneth. Kenneth? Kenneth. Brother, I'm sorry. You're sorry about what? Kenneth. What have you been doing in this house? Kenneth. You impregnated my only sister. Kenneth, after I, all I did for you in this house, your brother and I were planning for you to go to Brazil, and how you could pay me back? Hey, hey babe, my babe, own stop it, babe, babe. Kenneth, you're dead. Babe, leave me babe listen, me can me you pull yourself together? Can you pull yourself together? Yourself together? This dog, Le honey, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, under my roof. Honey, just leave me alone, I'm babe, finished. Babe, listen, come here, come here, just wait, wait, wait. Ada! Ada, this is not a marketplace for crying out loud. You have neighbors. They're hearing you. I'm finished. I'm finished. Oh. Ada, listen to me. I understand your pain. Listen, just calm down. Can you just relax? Just leave me. Your brother is a dog. I know he's a dog. Under my room. That's fine. I didn't see but you, you can't. Coming. You, I didn't see this coming. Only leave me alone. Ada, leave Ada, me. Listen, Ada. Ada, pull yourself together. It's but can you? Not true. Tell me it's not true. Babe, listen. Listen. Finished. Can I get some water to drink? Let's go get some water. Let's go get some water. Let's make the water. You must marry my daughter. Ega no relali, Ega no You cannot put her in a family where all poor. And that your land is all right. And you must make sure she's comfortable in your house. Because how they will be comfortable for you to say, Shape or Shape will ban you. You must marry her. You know, say, Okay, see, there can you walk more? So now you're going to go, Mamma Brook, who won your money. I call the bag and Azuno, Giga Mepe. I will have run the money, but I will be the people I would have given you, eh? No problem. Um, <clears throat> my in-laws, I understand that passions are high. Everyone is angry. My wife and I are equally very, very upset. And we have decided to come here today to do the right thing. My brother has committed an abomination. My father raised me well. My father married my mother the right way. My wife and I, we have decided that Kenneth must marry Chidima because he put her in a family way. My in-laws, 
I understand Chidima is still in school, but I promise you that it will never affect her education. I promise to cater for everything. The wedding, her education, and I also promise to give them a house. No, no, wait, I want to ask. That she'll be way taken care of. Is it the reason she was impregnant? Please. We have wronged you. I know you're very upset with us. But we have come to apologize. Please forgive us. My brother made a mistake, but we cannot throw him away. That is why we have come to do the right thing. Thank you very much, my in-laws. You're welcome. <clears throat> um, in-laws. When you beat a child with the right hand, you correct the same child with the left hand. Uh, as you can see, they are still young. I'm bound to make mistakes. So please forgive and accept us. Please. Wait, wait. Are we talking about Marin Chidema to the same family. I'm okay now, you know. How? Family, our family, Obriya. Obriya, we're the family, yeah. Our tradition is not against it. No, it is not. A brother-in-law can still marry a sister-in-law. And as it is in their case, it is delicate, very delicate, as she already has the seed of Kenneth in her womb. So... Let us allow them. They already agreed to become man and wife. If you try to separate them or do otherwise, they may do something stupid. They may look or do something that will not be palatable for the ears to hear. Huh? So please, let us tread with caution. Please. Huh? This is unbelievable. Mm. Well, my lawyer has spoken well. Like you said, we have to tread with caution. The deed has already been done, and there's nothing we can do about it. It left for my brother Okonko here to decide on what to do. Okonko, you have had your end lord. Do you have anything to say? I have had them. Well, um, my end lord has spoken very well. Well, I, I, I think I reserve my comments. Yes. Have you seen what I'm I am pinned. Have you seen it? Can you make him keep one? Please forgive us. Forgive us. I am seriously pained. I am seriously pained because I did not expect this will happen. My daughter is meant to go to school and be of help to herself and to her family. Of course. But what am I saying? What am I saying? In-laws, Marine in-laws. It is very appalling. It is appalling. Honestly, I can't handle this. I don't know what to do. Please, my in law, we're sorry. Accept us. Listen to me. My father raised me well. You can't keep disgracing our family. You put this woman in a family way. How dare you? Right under my nose. You have no respect for me. You have no respect for my wife. Are you crazy? Come here. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Stupid boy. Now you will apologize to everybody here. Tell them you are sorry for what you have done. I'm sorry, my elders. They can't hear you. You need to speak up. I'm sorry, my elders. Tell them you apologize for what you have done. I apologize for what I did to her. 
tell them you're ready to get married to her. Oh. I'm ready to get married to her. Hey, can you speak out? You're ready to get married to Chidima. I'm ready to get married to Chidima. And you're going to take full responsibility of the child? I'll take care of the child and the mother too. This one you're telling him to say everything, is it coming from his mind? You should ask him if it's coming from his mind because he's not even thinking about it. My lord, you have, you have heard him. Please forgive us. Now get up. Very stupid boy. In fact, you know what? Get into the car. Get into the car. Get into the car. Get into the car. Hey! If I'm half of one of my yo! Hey! Ne, please, you people should temper justice with mercy. Who are the you people? Is this all? Have you seen your sister? She has denied you! You people? Ebi Noya? You are shocked. What is what is shocking you? You know, you know, you know, you know, you Okay, no, 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 you are more normal, but you couldn't even look into your sister's life. Married for a We are sorry, you people. It's all. No problem. I'm shocked as well. Ask my husband. We have to forgive her as well. Yes. You have to forgive her. Okay? It's not her fault. I don't even know what to say. My, my brother is just a dog. Can you imagine? Please. Hey. Mama, please, you have, you have to forgive her. That you're upset, but must you force me to forgive in law? Allow me to think about it and forgive. Iman, chop it down my throat to forgive. Papa, Mama, Sister, please, we are sorry. Forgive us. Who are the us? Who are the us? I don't want you to know what about the for. Who are the us? I don't know. You are not being married. You're saying us. There you are, the guy. the chamfer. In my mama, in a river, why is she a just just before I open my eyes and you're out of my sight, idiot. And I guess you don't like a body. Okay, okay, it's okay. No, oh, it won't go. No, you're dead. To me, the next time your brother impregnates my sister and leaves her in the house, he will have me to contend with. Ada, I have spoken to my brother time and time again. He has changed. Lies, your brother can never change. Let me tell you, this is pure example of what they call by first marriage. Nonsense. All right. At least your sister is fertile. She's been proving it time and time again. How dare you? How dare you insult me with my predicaments? You dare insult me because of my childlessness. Your brother has proven himself to be productive. Prove yourself. Impregnate me. Oh, so I'm the cause. Yes, you are the cause. So I'm the cause. You are the cause. Your brother has proven himself. He has two kids. Put a fetal sperm in me. Yes, put a fetal sperm in me and you. The next time you get my sister pregnant and travel to God knows where, you will have me to contend with. Monster. It's yours. Useless kid. Useless family. <sighs> Kenneth, sit down. We need to talk. Kenneth. It's time you take responsibility. So I shouldn't go about my own business. 
Kenneth, I didn't say that. I only said you have to be responsible for your actions. Okay. Okay. No problem. You need to come to the house. Let's talk. I'm not welcome. to take my sister's kids in. I don't want them to stay in that village. You want to bring them here? Yes, of course. They're your brother's kids too, or is there anything wrong with that? What about your grandmother? No, 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 no. I don't want her to raise them. I want them to grow up here with us. What do you think? It's okay. How about you, Dima? <sighs> I'm making plans for her to travel to Dubai and start a new life. But we'll pray for your brother to get back to his senses and come take his family. That's a good idea. But. Have you told her about your plans? Yes, and she accepted. <sighs> but honey, mm. you see that your brother, mm. he must surely be if he gets back to his senses and come back for his family. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it go. It's okay. Come to think of it, honey. Why are you not showing any concern about this? You don't feel the pain. You, you, you care less. Why are you acting reluctant? Okay, why can't you go and drag out your brother and are you now things with him? Listen, he's an adult, all right? He's a grown man. I can't keep making decisions for him. I used to do that before, just like I asked him to marry or I forced him. I can't do that now. He's going to look at me like an unserious person. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Kenneth! Babe, just calm down, okay? Listen, I've tried my best. I've spoken to him. I've gone to his house. He's not there. I've called him on the phone. I think you should just let him be. Move on with your life. I strongly believe at some point he would realize his mistakes and he'll be sorry. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. I can't keep chasing after him. He's not a kid. He's a grown man. So I suggest we just let him be and uh, he'll be okay. And everyone is going to be okay. Man, you messed up. You fucked up big time. Man, how could you? How could you dissolve a beautiful marriage as like that? How could you dissolve your marriage with Chidema? That girl is so homely, so respectful, a wife material to the core. What are you thinking? Listen, I will not blame your father-in-law if he's accusing you of having a spiritual wife. At this point, I will not blame him, honestly. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any spiritual woman in my life. You don't have a spiritual wife? Then what happened? Why did you dissolve your marriage? 
I want to get married. You want to get married? So the one you had with Chidima, what was it? Manage? Nigga, something is wrong with you. What are you talking about? See, my guy, as an African man, you have the right to marry as many wives as you want. Hence, you can take care of them. But you don't need to dissolve the one you had just to bring another one. Ah, uh -uh now. See, Angela would not like to be a second wife. Oh, that. So, what happens to your kids? You know what? Just help me talk to Angela. Tell her all these sweet, sweet things I'm telling you. Tell her I miss her. Tell her that I want her, but let her just give me audience. Then, everything will be cool, please. That's what I want. Not all this uh, long talk we are here talking. But guy, you know that will be a difficult task, you know. Anyway, I'll try. But I'm not promising you anything. But then I'll try. But let me advise you as a brother. Go get your kids. Those kids are so adorable. Your boy and your girl are so adorable. You don't need to leave them like that. Go and get them. I've heard them. I've heard them. I've heard them. I've heard them. Please. Huh? I've heard them. No problem. I will. But just do what I ask you to do. Help me. That's what I want. something. She might kill those kids someday. Honey, what are you even talking about? I thought we discussed this last night. Ada, my point still remains, you can't keep your sister's children in this house. Why? Don't you understand? It's, I, I feel like it's wrong. Yeah, I don't want any trouble. Listen, I don't want you maltreating them because of my brother's sins, please. What do you mean maltreating them? Me, Adeze. Maltreat my own sister's kids. Honey, can you hear yourself? Please don't say this outside. Don't let anyone hear you. Ada, you have to understand me, all right? I feel like it's not appropriate for them to stay here. They can go to their grandmother. Trust me, if my parents were to be alive, they would stay with them. But at this point, they should go to your, your mother. I cannot allow those kids to be raised in the village. No way! Alright, fine. Fine. Why are you asking Chidima to go to Dubai? She can stay in Abuja and get a job and take care of her children. Yes, I want her to go to Dubai. Maybe she'll meet the love of her life and get happy. Stop all this. Those kids, they cannot stay in that village and that is fine now. Well, I have made my point. My point is still very valid. Just think about it.
Chidima Okonkwo. Olisa! Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Olisa, you look good. Same with you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> look at you. The hot and delectable hey, Chidima Okonkwo. Come here, Olisa. come here, come here, come here. Look at you. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Leave me, John. Turn, turn, turn around. Leave me. You won't change, Olisa. Always hot as ever. Uh, uh. <laughs> Olisa, what are you doing in my village? What did you come to do? I was um, shocked when you called me on phone. Yeah, I'm actually building a hotel somewhere at the entrance of this village. It's a lie. What? Lisa. What? Wait, wait. You're trying to tell me that you own of that big building. Of on that constru construction. What can I say? Close to the market square. What can I say? Jesus Lord Christ. has been good to me, man. I'm just doing little me for me. Lisa, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Hey! Chidima, you look hot. Hot and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> So tell me, you don't look like you live around. Where do you reside? I base in Abuja. Oh my God. Don't tell me that it's true. Abuja. I've been in Abuja for like four months now since I came back from Germany. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I have a couple of business to run in Abuja. I have houses in Maitama, Guarimpa. You know, hey. just, just doing me for me, you know. Please, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah. You're doing good for yourself. Yeah. Chidima, look at you, look at you, always looking hot <laughs> as ever. Eh? Alisa, you've not changed. So how is your elder sister doing? My sister is fine, she's fine. Good, good, good to see her again. Um, yeah, so I need you to keep me company down to my side. You don't hop in my ride, because we have a lot of catching up to do. And don't say no, please, don't say no, all right? Lisa, come, 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 it's all right come, if you insist. Come, 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 come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Lisa! The gorgeous uh, uh. Chidima! Wow! Lisa, I'm so happy to see you! I can't believe I'm talking to the love of my life right now! <laughs> Lisa, please, please, don't go there! Don't take me back to our secondary school, love! Please! Listen! Talking about our secondary school, my love letters I sent to you, you never replied anyone! Why? Oh, Lisa, can you just stop? Don't take me back there, please! Eh? <laughs> Chidima, tell me more about yourself. Are you married? Because I can't see a ring on your finger. Lisa, come on. Please just drive. I don't have strength to talk. Please, right I really now. want to know everything about you. Huh? Talk to me. Like, I don't, do, I don't see understand. How the universe has brought you back to me. I don't understand why you want us to say everything today. You want to know everything today. Eh? Can we okay. just go, please? Okay, fine. Fine. Let me slow down. Take it one step at a time. Hmm? Better. <laughs> and I believe we'll talk about this over dinner. Better, Lisa. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. So, so tell happy. me, how is everything generally? Your your education. Everything is fine, Lisa. Lisa, can we talk about all these things later? Hmm? I, I remember you want. I remember you wanted to. Yo, see we are going to repass. We are pass, 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 pass. Okay. <sighs> Okay, anyways, I'm so happy to see you. You know, you always talk about being a medical doctor. Yeah. Mama, please tell us, who are you? Mama, this is Ulisa. Ulisa? Yes, Mama, Papa, Ulisa, my secondary school mates. From Umoda village. Ewo, 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 Ewo. That one I used to carry on his bicycle back then. Yes, Mama. Back to school and go to school. Yes, Mama, it's the one. Is this one? Mm -hmm. He has grown this big. You mean, was it not your father that was 
Yeah. Tanker driver that, su that was supplying water around. Exactly, Papa. Yeah, yeah. Papa needs to go on. Okay, where is your father now? How is he? He's fine, he's doing great. Yeah. You have become this big and looking like a big gentleman. Money. <laughs> money is good. I believe this one is eating money. Chopping money. Hey, what can I say, Mama? Let, me get, let me get the cola. <laughs> let me get the cola. <laughs> you deserve, you know, to be entertained. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, oh. No, one, no. Mama, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Hope you are taking care of Ask her. She should answer better. I'm taking care of mama, don't mind that. Okay. I'm sure you ever agree that I'm taking care of you. Mama, you're looking very fresh as ever. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank God. You're so unbelievable that my brother broke up with your sister. Is that why I should disown my own brother? Is that why I should kill him? What the hell are you saying? I'm saying that you and your brother were just laughing and chatting and leaving the main issue at hand. Kenneth is my brother. Nobody was laughing. And I think, or I suggest you give my brother some time, all right? I believe he would come around. He would explain things to me when he's calm. And before that happens, I need to act maturely. I need to handle things my own way. The deed is done already. Don't you understand? I tell you that this is crazier than I thought. One minute, I'm trying to let this whole thing slide. And the next minute, I'm furious and angry. You don't have to blame me. You promised to put an end to this entire drama, but you did not. You brought the kids into this house, even when I refused. You went ahead. You have decided to send Chidima to Dubai. And that's fine. Then what the hell is the problem? Why can't peace reign? Kelvin, you know how much I love my sister. And you know that whoever hurts my sister hurts me as well. So why were you just in the car chatting with him as if nothing happened? My brother and I grew up together. And you know that for sure. My brother was not laughing. You need to calm down. Please. I hate your brother with all my heart for putting my sister in such condition. I need you to let your brother know that he's not going to go free after everything he did to my sister. Let him know. Probish. This woman is trying to wreck me. I don't know what else to do. Women with all kinds of problems. Jesus Christ, Mama, did you just ask me that question? If I'm seeing another man or, or what? Yes! I asked you that. You're not behaving as someone that lost her marriage. You are not sober. You are not even bothered. Neither are you troubled. You behave as if everything is alright. Yes! You are not telling me nor your father what happened in that marriage. Why it crumbled? What you did to Kenneth or what Kenneth did to you? Yes! Secondly, you are seeing someone else. I believe I can tell you for free. That is why Kenneth dissolved that marriage. There is no conversation about everything that happened in that marriage. You are sitting cool and beautiful as if it's fine. You have not told us the truth about what happened in that marriage. So tell us. <laughs> Mama, wait. Oh. A man came to this house and said he's no longer interested in me. Mama, what do you want me to do? Look, I should start crying, screaming, and I should call the whole world on him. Is that what you want me to do? Chidema, it is normal. It is not out of place for a husband and a wife to dissolve their marriage for the reason of incompatibility. But what is not normal, as in your case, is there is no single reason that we can hold 
that we can say, oh, this is the reason why they are separated. Of course. And your sister came here, picked your keys, and promised to take you abroad. Now, why didn't any of these have any... No commitment to me. Thank no you. What, 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 I am confused. No commitment. Papa, there was never a love marriage between I and Kenneth. We never loved each other. Huh? Yes, and I'm happy it's turned out this way. What? Really? Eh. I have two kids with him. Two children. Two beautiful children with him. Yet you accepted to marry him. Why? No. These children are joking with us, my husband. There is something definitely wrong with everything that is happening. Something is not right because I can never... I remember you again, you. I remember you again, you. Ha! I, 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 I can sense that, too. I can sense something. So you are saying that is the reason for the separation? Please, I have an important call to make. There's no network here, Biko. Hey! Oh, my God, what? Oh, what do you know? I the same people. What about the people who in the room? She has done it before you. She's going to take the call of that person that she's seeing. The person that made Kenneth to dissolve that marriage. Wait, oh. What do children of this day take marriage for? Eh? They think it's something they can go into, get children, enjoy it for a few years, and get separated. There's no value for anything called marriage. They're not telling us anything. Hmm. I will go and look into this. No, for real, I will go into this because I can't, I can't believe that is Chidima that I know. Chidima. And we never taught them like this. They grew up in this house. Am I separated? You are here with us. Marriage, you're not talking about I'm here. I am here. Honey, what is it now? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? And you scream like that at this ungodly hour. Talk to me, what is it? I need to use the bathroom. Dream is this? I am afraid. I'm really scared. Such dreams in my own house. What is she up to? Why am I having these dreams? I just don't understand. God help me. Please, Lord, help me. I don't know what to do right now. <sighs> this dream is terrifying. She's trying to kill me. But for what? 
Why? What's really going on? Babes, don't tell me you don't know. Know about what? Your husband's side chick is in town. She is back. I saw her at the mall two days ago. Oh. That's Sandra of Ego. Yes. Yes, baby. And from the look of things, it seems your husband is aware of her being around. See, my husband will never cheat on me ever again. So all those things, it's just a thing of the past. You can't be too certain, babes. You can't. Why are you bent on making me angry? See, my husband and Sandra Saga is a thing of the past. My husband will never be with her ever again. So what are you saying? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know. Anything can happen, Sha. Anything can happen. I saw her, she's looking so hot and unusual. Girl, it's like you're forgetting who your friend is. Not after the beating I gave her now. How? She dares not come close to my husband. Not even an inch. Does she want to die? <laughs> okay. No wahala. So, um, how is your sister's kids? How are they doing? Fine, and they're not back from school. Okay, Omar, the way their marriage just ended, you know, it's a shock to me. And my sister, I hate to talk about that. I'm seriously still hurting. <sighs> so sad. Good to see you again. You look, you look amazing. <laughs> Good to see you too. I've missed you. So, just me, what has been going on in your life? Just work, you know, and that's all. And what about Obina? Ah, uh, he's, he's, he's okay. <laughs> she didn't mind me, it. I meant everything I just told you. Please, she didn't mind. Let's make it work between us. Let's be man and wife. I'm begging you, please. Ulisa. We've been friends for a very long time. And you're a good man. But uh, as it is right now, I I don't know what I don't know what to, to, to say. I'm confused. Chidima, you don't have to be confused. You don't have to be. You're the one my heart yearn for. Okay? Please don't go to Dubai. Let's make it work between us. I'm begging you, please. Olisa. Yeah. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Please, can we talk about this later? No, I will not. Listen, you're the one my heart yearns for. I can't help myself. I'm in love with you. Try and understand. You remember those letters I wrote you back in school? I remember every word on those letters. And I meant everything on it. Yeah, <laughs> I remember those days. My sister used to... <laughs> Chase you around to leave me alone. <laughs> yes, and I couldn't stop because I never gave up on you. Chidima, look, this right here is destiny. Okay, see how the universe has brought you back to me. I don't want to lose you a second time. Let's be man and wife. I'm begging you, please. Oh, Lisa. Hmm? Lisa, please drive me home. Hmm? Let's talk about this later, okay? Some other time. I promise. Okay. As my queen pleases. Your wish is my command, but please think about it. Mm. Hmm? All right. The child that plays a trick on his father should realize that one day that child will also become a father. But why are you so much concerned about your daughter's marriage that has gone down the drain? I, Izemo, I really want to know the reason why that marriage just crashed. Just like that. 
You should be more concerned about what comes in the future. I see war. I see death. I see death that will roll in the drums of calamity. The dance of death. You will be glad to be in your grave rather than see this coming in your lifetime. Mba. Mba. I, 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 am, I am more confused than I was before I came here. Death, calamity, grave. Me in the grave? Nothing is mysterious, my friend. That which might seem difficult for a man to understand might be easy and light for another man. Go home and ask your daughter questions about herself and her so-called husband. Go home. Go! You need to stop. Stop it! Kelvin, what's the problem? Stop. Stop it, please. What's this all about? Wait, 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 Kelvin. What is it? You need to stop, alright? I thought you were married with kids. Oh, please. I left him. Look, he's not even a topic to talk about. Why, why don't we stop talking about our marital affairs and, and talk about us? Kevin, I miss you. Listen, can you, can you just be civil? Can you just stay at a place? What the hell is wrong with you? Ke Kelvin, please. Come on. Look, we've been dating for such a very long time. And you will not tell me you've, you've, you've not missed this experience, the whole... Come on, we had memories, Kelvin. We did. Sandra, listen, I told my wife about us. I told her the truth. I told her we dated in the past. That means you are in my past. If she finds out we're here playing dirty, it's not going to be funny. Oh, look who's talking about playing dirty. You and I know you're more dirty than I am. Look, why are you trying to be so hard on yourself? Look, I miss you so much. <laughs> you're already rising down there, come on. Oh my God. Hey, what are you doing? Kelvin, please. Listen, you need to stop it. I need to go to my wife. Kelvin, even if this is the last time, she would not find out. Please. Stop it! Wait, wait, kill me, kill me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's have a word. Let's just, let's just have a word. Let's, let's just, just one word. Just one word. Kill me, please, please. Hey. Just trying to move on with her life, and you know, that's it. And I don't even know what's on your mind. Wow. She never told me all that. But it's fine. It's fine. I can understand. Maybe she wanted you to find out yourself. Listen, Adese, I really don't care, okay? I can't help myself. I'm in love with your sister. I want to build a future with her. And as for her kids, 
I'm willing to take them in and father them. Holy sir, yes, it's straight from the heart. I'm telling you, I can't help myself. You've not changed one bit. You still have this undying love for her. That is, I just believe we are destined to be together. So whatever happened, happened for a reason. Okay, listen, I love your sister. I love everything about her. Her imperfections, her mistakes, her flaws, everything about her. And I'm just ready, so ready to make her my wife. Okay, in that case, I would help you talk to her. Please, you have to help me convince her. Don't worry, it's okay. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, boys, how are you? You okay? Yeah. Hey, darling. Mm. How are you? I missed you. Mm. You guys okay? What are you doing? You're reading your books? You saw that. All right. Mm. Ah, yeah. Go to your rooms, all right? I'll come and see you guys shortly. Go to, Go to your, your rooms. rooms. All right. Your rooms. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, how are you? Hey, You're welcome, darling. Yeah. Mm. How are you? I'm good. You okay? Yes. I'm great. Honey. Yeah. Meet Olisa. He's Chidima's childhood friend. Oh. Olisa, my husband. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. I can see you have a lovely family and you're doing a very good job taking very good care of them. Please keep it up. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. He actually traveled to Germany, I think after secondary school. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> and guess what? He is now living in Abuja. <laughs> uh, so, young man, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I have um, businesses across the world, so I travel around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Um, nice to meet you again. Yes, same here. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Okay, darling. So, how have you been? I'm fine, I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Honestly, I can't believe you still love my sister after so many years. You know, I never stopped thinking of her. And now that I've seen her, I won't let her out of my sight. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Don't worry. I'll talk to her on your behalf, okay? Please do. Please do. <laughs> it's alright. Just book a flight for me for the weekend. I'll be coming this weekend. No, no, no. No, this weekend is fine. <laughs> it's alright. No, no. So, how are you? Hi, Zabunja. Oh, yeah, my sister told me about this visit. Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Right. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're talking to Lisa? Yes, Mama. Mm. Yes. Okay, your father wants to see you, he wants to speak with you. All right, Mama. <laughs> I'm behind you. <laughs> no problem. Chilima, my daughter. Papa. You see, when the eyes is crying, the nose shares in the agony and when a man sees a tiny snake on his way he comes to tell his kinsmen that he has seen a big python Otua. and whatever is meant to be worn on your eyes cannot be seen on your arm and the greatest risk a child will undertake is to lie to his or her parents and try to cover it up or smart up just to give that feeling that he or she is wise. Judy Man, for the last time, I'll ask you as your father. Do you have any skeleton in your cupboard? And what are you doing in the dark that you do not even want the sun to reveal? No, tell us. 
And people say a father can use his head to wage a bullet for his children. Yes, that's true. But then, nothing, I repeat, nothing that you will tell me or your mother or your parents that is wrong with your life that we will not stand by you or protect you. The ear will never begin to bleed because of what it hears. And no matter what the eye sees, it will not bleed, Lord. Everything has solution. Even death. Yes, they say it does not have a solution. Because nobody can bring the dead to the, to, to the living. Yes, we know. But what is happening in this family and in the lives of our children? It's not anything we would have wished them to go through. That is not the kind of life we planned for them. Yet this girl will not open up to us. My child, open up to your mother, to your father. And we will be there to protect you. We will be there for you. Please, don't hide it from us. You know what I'm talking about. Say it to us. Papa. Mama. Yes. See, I think it's high time I left this house for the both of you. Yes. Me, I'm tired of all this. So I'm tired of all this. Maybe I should just go to Lagos or somewhere else. Eh? Why is every meeting in this house always about Chidima? Why? Because I see evil. Yes, I see evil coming. Riding on the wing to destroy my family. Shidema, we are restless. You may go anywhere you want to go to. But I tell you this, you can never be smarter than your children. At all. We are your gods. We are your earthly gods. Let that thing that wants to take your head come. Shidema, it has to take me first. Me. Yes. Eh? Tell us. Stop pretending. Naked yourself and let us see the scars and know where we can be your help. We are traumatized. We are restless. We are worried about you. I'm not hiding anything, please. Have you seen what I've been telling you? This girl is very secretive. Even right from childhood, you cannot uh, 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 you know, trick her or cajole her into saying something that is on her mind. She will hide it and never reveal it to you. Yeah, they say she's a direct reincarnation of your late mother. And this is exactly the way your mother was behaving when she was on earth. Woman, right. shut up. Hiding her money everywhere. Talking something to you, you're talking in your I need to call Ada right away. You don't go, you do not go again. talked about that. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Listen, I love you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright. 
こういうからこういうからはい、ベビー、どうしよう。ええ、ベビー、どうしよう。ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、ええ、ベビー、Babe, what stupid question is that? What stupid question is that? What do you mean by that? I had a dream about you. And I saw the both of you kissing in your office. I'm serious. I will kill you if you dare go back to your words. See, I don't even have time to start monitoring or checking your phone. Just don't dare me. Aga. You need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. No one is cheating on you. You need to stop being negative. You need to take those negativity off your mind. You can't possibly have a dream and think it is reality. It was just a dream. No one is cheating on you. I don't have anything to do with Sandra. I'm here working, working hard to pay bills. It's okay. I believe you. But don't dare me. You know I can kill, right? Oh. You need to stop saying that to me. Alright? Stop saying that to me. It is wrong. I'll be traveling to the village first in tomorrow morning. Why? Is there a problem? I think it's about Chidima. My dad called. He sounded furious. <sighs> All right, that's fine. When are you going? I said first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so how are you going? Are you flying or you're driving? I'm flying. When are you coming back? Let me get to the village first. Ada? You need to stop, okay? You're threatening me, and that's totally wrong. You can't tell someone to their face that you're going to kill them. You can get arrested for that. Telling me to accept a married man with two kids. Are you for real? Angie, that is not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is give him chance to explain things to you, okay? Listen, this man wasn't happy with this marriage. He's not happy with it. It's not an excuse to have kept me in the dark all this while. Yes! Just do it and feel the pain. Look, the sister-in-law traced me down to my house. She threatened to deal with me personally. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know who gave her my house address. She threatened to deal with me for what I don't know about. Angela, I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry, but I still maintain, give Kenneth a chance to explain things to you. He might have a cogent reasons for the things he did. Please, I beg you, just allow him to explain. It's because of you. It's because of you I have to take his call. If not, 
I swear to God, I would not. You know me now. I will not do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, one more thing. What are you talking about? We agreed you'll be traveling to Dubai. Sister, I'm not going to Dubai. I want to be in Abuja. I want to be close to my kids. Eh? I want to stay in Abuja, but not in your house. <laughs> Papa, Mama, this was not the plan. Chilima, what changed? I thought we agreed on this already. What happened again? Why can't I stay in Abuja? What is wrong with that? Something is wrong with it. I want to be close to my kids so I can see them, period. I want you to stay far from Kenneth. I don't want him to come back and start deceiving you. Why have you people deviated from the main topic? I said, ask your sister what happened to her marriage. Because I foretell bad days ahead. Papa, you have come again. Which one is bad days ahead again? I don't understand. My husband, was, this one you're talking about for telling something like, not interested in her marriage and all that. It's not the point. This girl you see is not faithful in her marriage. I have been seeing her snooping around to answer this particular call that usually calls her at night. I'm suspecting her with that number. Who is that I usually call you at night? Mama, it's only sir. And you're hiding to answer his call. Somebody will all know. I don't even know why everybody's so worried about who I call and who I don't call phone. How is that a problem? How is you people's business? Your sister said she was never in love, nor had any feeling at all for Kenneth. Cheating, ma. Sister. Yes, that is it. Can that be over now, please? Ha! You don't want to go to Dubai. You want to go to Abuja. Abuja, Abuja, really brain. You got no idea, Abuja. Abuja marriage. You have seen your life with Abuja marriage. Go to Dubai, it's better for you. I'm not going there. I don't know why you are looking at me like am I a child? Okay, oh mama. Mm -hmm. Let us let her be. You don't want to travel to Dubai again, okay? I have a drink. What's wrong with you? You don't seem happy. What's going on? I'm fine. Okay, someone is obviously lying to me. If you think I'm lying, then that's okay. Sandra, you have to stop coming to my office. My wife had a terrible dream about you and I. She saw us kissing and making out. And that's so wrong. <laughs> Thank God she said it's a dream. Because let's just pray it doesn't come out real. And come to think about it too, you and I have been friends for so long before you even got married to her, Adizi. So, I, I still wonder why things didn't work out between you and I. I don't think we should have that conversation. <laughs> yeah, um, you talked about um, seeing me, you wanted to talk about something. What's, what's going on? Sandra. I needed some me time. I needed to cool off. I left my house because I wanted to to get some things off my chest. Some things like what? You mean what your brother did? Is that disturbing you? It's more than that. Okay. And you know we can always talk about anything. Come on. Let's share the thoughts. What's going on? I'm sorry, it's my cue to leave. No, 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 sweetheart. You know what you don't need to. Look, look. Let me. You can actually um, stay, stay, right? I enjoy your company. 
And you can stay as long as you want, you know that, right? Just relax. Sit tight and let me make you feel comfortable. Alright? What? Kill it! That is it. Please don't tell anyone. And that's why I had to leave. You are evil. How could you do such a thing? I'm telling you all these things because I love you and I want us back. Why would you do such a thing? Are you under a spell or something? No. Maybe I was naive. I was thinking I'm helping my brother out. And I have to do it for him. No. No, no. Look, do you know what you did? Do you know? I, I don't know. Someone has to know about this. Yes, because you are at the center of everything. And your sister-in-law is freaking out with stress. I am going to look for that sister-in-law and tell her everything you just said here. I am going to do that. You dare not. You dare not do such thing. Are you yelling at me? In my own house? You stupid bastard! You call me a bastard. Are you raising your voice at me? <coughs> How dare you! I don't know. It's because of Onisa she changed her mind. And I support her. You know, the young man has been coming around. And your father, in his way, has explained everything to the young man. I see he doesn't have any problem with that. Mama, that is what Onisa told me. Was she going to Abuja to visit him? It's too early. I'm not buying that idea. I've spoken to her, but she insists she is going. She said she must go there. Mama, the thing is that I don't want her to appear cheap. I know how men are. I know they've been friends since secondary school, but visiting him this early is a turn off for me. Uh, you're right to what you're saying. But wait, if not the young man, who, who else is inviting her to come to Abuja? Me. I don't want any man taking advantage of Chidima. She has been through a lot. You're right. But I don't know. I don't know how to approach this matter anymore. I don't know. Sister, I just need to leave this village. I feel choked already. I need to be out of here. See, it's not like I'm asking you not to leave the village. But I want you to come back to my house after visiting Olisa. That's why all I'm asking. Come on, sister. You know, Lisa, he won't take advantage of me. See, I know that Olisa likes you and you like him too, but I want you to take things easy. I don't want anybody taking advantage of you. At least take your time, know him, study him, know the kind of man he is. It's okay, sister. So, have you accepted me not going to Dubai now? If you say so, at least it will give you time to know this amount. Thank you. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Just be careful. I don't want any guy taking advantage of you again. And I want you to be happy and genuinely happy. I understand. <laughs> So we're going to spend the weekend together. I'm not sure about that, I'm sorry. My wife and I intend to spend time with the kids. Babe, please. Please. Sandra. 
I've told you to stop calling me babe. I'm someone's husband. Fine. Look, look, it's, it's just going to be one weekend. Like, just one weekend and then I'll go back to London. I would not even disturb you anymore. Please. All right, I'll think about it. I love you. And, um, you know what? Say hi to your crazy wife as you go. What the hell is this? What nonsense is this? Hello? Sandra, can you hear me? Sandra, what nonsense is this? What the hell is this? Have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Why did you put this nonsense in my pocket? <laughs> you know, I... I want you to think about me, baby. I want you to think about me and what we had today. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you trying to get me into trouble? What if my wife finds out? I know you're a very smart guy. I knew you'd definitely find it before your wife does. Oh. <laughs> Look, Kel, I, I want us to spend the weekend together. You know, have some fun, catch up. <laughs> yeah. And you better not say no because if you do, I'll just have to come to your home or your office. <laughs> and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Oh yeah, I mean every single word I said. And if you do not want your wife's um, dream to come to reality, you would have to honor my kind and sexy Check to request my king. Sandra. Listen to me! I am a married man. Alright? You need to leave me the hell alone. I need to focus on my family. Do you understand me? 
Listen, you, you, you can't say that to me. You, you, you can't say. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Mm. Nonsense. What? Um, you startled me. When did you get back? I wasn't expecting to see you. A while ago. I've been calling your phone. Why have you not been taking your calls? Ah. Uh... Sorry, babe. Long story. So, I had a meeting. A very long one at that. And uh, my phone was on silent. I didn't know you called. I saw your missed calls uh, eventually. But I'm sorry about that. So, what's up? How did it go? Did you see your dad? I did. Honey, guess what? What? <laughs> Mark has declined traveling to Dubai and she says she wants to live here in Abuja. Really? Mm -hmm. And as we speak, she's making plans to come visit Ulisa here in Abuja. So soon? I tried talking her out, but she seems adamant about it. After all, she's not a kid. So I'll just let her live her life and make sure she's careful. <sighs> okay. That's okay. That's okay? <laughs> Honey, what do you mean, that's okay? Don't tell me you're just buying the idea. Um, babe, listen. She's an adult. Um, she's no longer a child. Sometimes I feel like she needs some love, you know, she needs to be uh, loved too, you know, some love and affection, yeah. I think you're right, but I'm just worried about her being treated the way your brother treated her and all that. I feel she's been a bit brushy. What do you think? You actually have a point. Yeah, you do. That's by the way. So tell me, how was your trip? Hectic and fine. Mm. I missed you. I missed you too. Wait. Is that your father wanted to see you? Not really. You know what? I'll tell you all about that. I'm making something. Oh. I need to get to the kitchen. Oh, right. Okay. I'll be right back. Right, sure, 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 sure. I said I'm tired. Come on. I'm tired. Please. Why are you yelling at me? Have you forgotten on your wife? Babe, I'm not disputing you're my wife. I just said I'm tired. Come on. Then just make love to me. Honey, when was the last time you touched me? Babe, can you stop? I'm tired. Baby, I'm tired now. I said I'm tired. Come on. Tell me. Are you seeing someone else? What do you mean? What stupid question is that? 
I just told you I'm tired. And you're accusing me of seeing someone else. Are you crazy? Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. Okay, fine. Fine. and open it. Babe! Yes. You are... Pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so happy now. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know, we just came back uh, from abroad, yeah? Mm -hmm. So after the party, we'll make a preparation to go and see your people. Yes. Babe, it's a lie. Yes, girl, I'm getting married to you. <gasps> Baby, this is what I've been waiting for. I love you. I love you too, my baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe, I love you. I love you too. You going to see my parents? Yes. Oh my gosh. I love you. I've been waiting for this. B! Kenneth, what's up? Have a seat. Why are you standing by the window? Where is your wife? She just stepped out with the kids. Sit down. What's up, bro? Why are you looking gloomy? You don't look fine. What's going on? You, you okay? Angela is dead. What? Yes. And it's your fault. What happened? You made me kill her. She was carrying my child. She was carrying my unborn child! I made you kill her. What are you talking about, Kenneth? I told her everything. Everything that she needed to know. And she threatened to expose me to your wife. Who threatened her? So we have him. Um, Kenneth, I'm trying to wrap this entire explanation. Okay, so what have you done? Have you gone to the police to uh, 
report yourself or I ran away. You ran away? Yes! What do you have me do? I should go to the police and report myself? No, I will not do that. It's all your fault. It's your fault! Hey, you made me hey, do that! Kenneth, listen to me. You need to slow down. Don't tell me to calm down. No, you need to slow down. Alright? We need. You need to calm down and let's let's find a way out of this. Kenneth! <laughs> Kenneth! Yeah, hello. Yeah, so when are you landing? Okay, all right. Um, I will be at the airport waiting. Yes? No, 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 no. You don't have to worry yourself, my dear. I'll be at the airport, okay? All right, now. Wish you a safe flight. All right, see you soon. should return by Monday, yeah. Honey, this is so sudden. I know, but I have to go. It's important I attend the meeting. They need me. I need to sign some documents, yeah. What? Why don't you send your secretary? Really? My assistant? No, I can't do that. Um, babe, give her some break. I need to go in person, all right? Because I need to sign some documents, like I said. Well, it's, it's okay. Yeah. You know what? Let me fix you something to it. I'll be back. There's no need for that. I'm driving a park at the airport and uh, come back on Monday. Yeah. Well, okay. Don't forget to call me once you get to Lagos. Of course, I always call you. I was call you. What? Mm. I miss you. I miss you. Mm. 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 What? Mm. I miss you too now. I love you. I love you too. Mm. 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 Come here. Mm. I need to miss you. Mm. I'll be back on Monday. Come on. Hey, be a good girl, okay? Mm. Mimi, I'm not happy. I know. Mm. I have to go, babe. Take care. Don't tell me you're not here yet. Don't keep your baby waiting. <laughs> I am fully set and waiting for you to be here. Yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I said I'll be there in 15 minutes. Just relax. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ride faster, my king. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Do you have so much confidence in your man? I mean, 
You think your man is not cheating on you? Adesi, please. A man that goes for a business submit on a Sunday. No, 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 Adesi, you have to shine your eyes. Open your eyes. You know, go the inside ocean, so enter your eyes. No. Sandra girl is in town for, for days now. There are enough. You can't be telling me about this Sandra girl all the time. I know my husband cheated and was with her in the past, but that was because... That was what? Fine. You know that it took me quite a time to get pregnant. So my husband was actually going out with her, thinking that she was going to take him. But that never happened. So what are you saying? A daisy. The truth is that I do not want you running to me crying. I don't want you to come to my house crying. Excuse me. I care for you. That will never happen. Care for yourself. <laughs> okay. So what if you wake up one morning and then someone shows up with a child for your husband? What are you going to do? Tell me. Dora. My husband is coming. Hello, darling. This one you're sitting all alone and I hope there's no problem. I had a very terrible dream. I had a terrible dream? Yes. Come sit. Come and sit. Tell me about it. My husband, I had a very terrible dream. In that dream, two hands were fighting themselves to death. The fight was so fierce that they were injuring themselves blood. In fact, it wasn't a, a good sight at all. The sight was so nasty. I tried everything possible to separate them and I couldn't. Which one is uh, two hands fighting themselves to the point of enjoying themselves? Husband, I don't know. You know me in my dreams. I am as confused as you are. But you know, the, the one that made the matter so worse, when I rushed to the backyard to go and pick up a stick to chase them, to separate them, getting to the backyard, I saw a dead cock. A, lying on the floor. A dead cock. Yes. So this whole thing is, is very confusing. It, it, it's okay. I will try and find the meaning of the dream. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I will try and look for the meaning of, of, of the dream, okay? Um, where is our daughter? She didn't tell me where she was going. She's not back yet. All right, I will... I will call her later and tell her everything I'm going, okay? Um, I'm hungry. Oh, let me get your food. Sorry, I kept you waiting. It is fated to happen. For the truth has refused to come to limelight. 
Like I told you before, my friend, after death, nothing else matters but war and calamity. Is it more? You, you, you're, not, you're not helping matters at all. Can you try and be a little more explicit? I'm, I'm getting more confused. You say calamity, dead, war. I don't know what to do. Sabu, has happened right under your nose. And you claim you cannot smell it. Should an elder like you ask for explanation to adage? It will be a slap on your grey hair, my friend. Nothing has changed. And whatever may change after death can only be calamity and war. It is better you wish you are not alive to see or witness what is about to come. You see the unbelievable. <sighs> Um, has it anything to do with the dream my wife have always had? The gods can reveal things to men in a way they will understand. But when they fail to comprehend, when they get stuck and confused, they call it mystery. Whatever that's been played out, dream or reality, revolves around your home. But my daughter has refused to accept the fact that she was into extramarital affairs, a reason for which the marriage may have collapsed. Is the same marriage? Can a marriage be a mirage? If yes, then there was never a marriage in the first place. No, my my my, my daughter was married and had two, 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 two kids, two children. Fine. Argue that with your spirit. You have failed to understand even when you ask the bar. A man should not believe all that he sees. For even the foaming waters are crystal and clear underneath. If I tell you I am, I'm not lost and I'm lying. What can I do to prevent this calamity that you talk about? Nothing. Nothing but peace. Speak peace. Preach peace. For at the end of the day, it might have some impact on the other side. But ears will bleed and wish they never heard. And even eyes will wish they never saw. There is bad news. My brother was arrested. Yes. His friend called me and also came to the house. He said your brother wants to see me. What for? I don't know. I was waiting for it to return so we can go together. Babe, just let me handle it, all right? You just stay back. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll see him myself. 
You don't have to come with me. So, how was your trip? <sighs> you don't want to know. Hectic. Terrible. I'm tired. Now you're back home, I can at least take care of you. Let me make you food. Uh, I just want to shower. Where are the kids? In the room. Okay. All right, just help me with that. Um, careful, that's heavy. Thank you for the treats. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm happy you had great fun. Of course I did. Um, Chidema. Yes, Elisa. About what I told you the other time. I really meant everything I said. Listen, I can't imagine life without you by my side. Please, let's give us a chance and let's make it work. Come on, Elisa. Can you just drop me at my sister's place? Please. Why? Why can't we talk about this right now? Oh, I don't want to talk about this right now. See, I'm tired. Can we just go, please? I know, it's just that I'm troubled. I, I... Come on, let's go. It's alright, it's alright. Can we take a minute to pray before we eat? Oh, I forgot your dad was a pastor before his demise. You know already. Okay. Dear Lord, bless this meal that we may eat and be healthy and have more in abundance. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Shidima, you and Alisa will make a great couple. At least he's a God-fearing man. <laughs> and Olisa, hope yeah. you took care of her over the weekend. Hope you made her stay an interesting one. Mm. Yes, yes, sister. I, I enjoyed my, my stay with him. Right? Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, we went visiting nice places. Um, she enjoyed herself. She had great fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sister, um, Ulisa is a very nice man. I enjoyed my stay with him. I see. Uh, um, yes, we we're just catching up on old times. You know that feeling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, why are you not eating? Are you not enjoying the food? And you're not eating as well. Yeah, hello, Chidima. Yeah, I just um, got home. I'm in front of my gates. Yes. Chidima, yeah, I, I want to ask you a question. What just happened back there? You never spent any weekend in my house, so why do you have to lie to your elder sister? Listen, I do not appreciate lies, okay? And besides, why do you even have to lie in my name? That's the problem I'm having with you right now. Listen, try and be honest in everything you do. You never can tell if they will allow you to go where you, wherever you want to go. Please don't do that again. In short, I don't even know what to think of you right now.
don't do that again. Hope you're doing fine. Okay. So I'll call you later tonight so we'll talk about tomorrow's movement, right? Take good care of yourself. Sweet dreams. Bye. How are you, brother? I did not send for you. I sent for your wife. Kenneth, unfortunately, you can't see my wife. It's impossible to see her now. I want to be free. Kenneth, you don't understand. You cannot be free. You are in police custody. You murdered your lover. But I want to help you. You have to let me help you because I can help you. You are evil. You are a monster. My own flesh and blood. You ruined my life. Kenneth. You don't understand. I want to help you. But you cannot see my wife. You cannot say a word to her. If we have that deal, then I'll help you. For how long? How long will you keep this? As long as we live on Earth. Sandra. So you've gone back to Sandra. I regret marrying Chidema. I regret it all my life. <sighs> Kenneth. I'm very sure you don't want to go to jail. Your life is in my hands. We strike a deal. You won't say a word. And I'll get you out of here. Think about it. Go to hell. Go to hell! Think about what I said. My own brother. Hi, Sandra. Listen, I'm coming to see you tonight, okay? I need to get things off my chest. I understand you, but listen. I'm going to see more of you before you go back to the UK. Just chill. I'll see you tonight, okay? Please. All right. Cool. Can you start explaining to me what happened yesterday? I got the backups and drama. I don't understand, sister. What are you saying? Don't you dare me. Where did you spend your weekend? And what did you come to Abuja to do? Chidima, you lied to us and lied to Mama and Papa. Sister, I saw the looks on his face. You know that I am way smarter than you, right? You know. So wait. So this is why Kenneth called up the marriage. You were cheating on him, right? Sister, I was not cheating on anybody. Chidima, I am your elder sister. Who did you come to Abuja to see? Sister, I went to see an old colleague of mine and he has gone back to England. Damn! Damn it! And you said you are not cheating. No, answer me, you are not cheating. I will never cheat, sister. I won't. A lot has been going on. And I pray you find out soon. Spare me all that. You have the nerves, Chidima. You spent three days with that stupid old colleague of yours in Abuja. And you hipped it on Olisa. Why? Chidima, what do you really want? 
Is the person you spent the, the, the weekend with, is he better than Olisa? He is better than Olisa. He is. He's the love of my life. He deflowered me, sister. He has showed me nothing but love, care, everything. It's just that he's unfortunate. I mean, we are unfortunate. But I'm going to stand strong. Yes, I will stand strong to fight for us. He's a married man, right? Chilima, he is a married man, and that's what makes him unfortunate. Listen, I will never give you an advice that will ruin you. Chidima, you cannot be going out with a married man. It will only destroy and ruin your life. Listen, tonight you have to cancel all the relationship you have with that man. Sister, I'm not a child. You don't tell me what to do. How dare... What's going on here? Chidima. Hey, you listen to me. Don't you dare lay your hands on me next time. Did you hear me? And listen to me. You are not in the position to tell me who or who not to get married to. Did you hear me? He is a married man. And I love him. And I want to get married to him. You tell Olisa. I won't get married to him. Neither you, Mama or Papa, could tell me who, who to get married to. Did you hear me? Rubbish. Hey! Jesus, Jesus, I've lost my sister. Wait, what happened? Talk to me. Chidima. Chidima wanted to slap me in my own house. What, what, what really happened? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Babe, talk to me. What really happened? The man is going out to the married man. Hey! I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. Hey. Could that be why my brother insisted on seeing you? I think so. Papa, I had Olisa came here with his people to seek for my hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. Please tell them I'm not, I'm not interested. Don't, people should not take anything from them, please. But you said you went to Abuja to see your sister, and from there to see Olisa. And Olisa does not appear to us like someone who is not genuine. So. What happened? Papa, everything is fine. Olisa, it's fine. He is okay. There's nothing wrong with him. So what happened? Why are you rejecting him? Mama, you push you understand me. I don't love Olisa. We don't love each other. Eh. My heart is occupied. Like, I love someone else. Eh? So let's just, please. Please, eh? Let's stop talking about this, Mama. Maybe you need some time. I should, or we should tell Olisa to let you be, to give you some time so that you can cool down your head and begin to think in the right, in the right direction. Mama, I don't need any time. My head is calm and cool. I'm fine. I don't need, I don't need the time before. Hmm. Then in that case, you have to bring the, the man that your heart yearns for all this while. Let's see him. Hey, hey, Papa, now you're talking. You meet him at the right time. Mm. You heard from the horse's mouth. I told you this girl is seeing someone else. That was why her marriage collapsed. 
she has been cheating on her husband. I told you. Mama. That mystery man. That mystery man. No problem. I know me. I'm here. I'm here. I would live to see that mystery man. Gods of our land. Please do not allow the prophecy of Ezemo come to pass. Where yeah. are you going again? Babe, I'm trying to ensure my brother doesn't go to jail. Can't you wait till tomorrow? You just go back from work. Babe, no, it's urgent I see him. I need to see my lawyer. It's very important, please. Okay? I'll come back shortly. Hey, cheer up, okay? I'll be good. Okay. Sorry. Need time I about. Come and see me after the gate. Okay. Cheer up now. I'll be back before you know it. Okay? Yeah. Come in. Sandra, I apologize, but I'm here now. We're spending the night. What did you say? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Of course I'm out of my mind. I'm not going to spend the night with you. I'm sure you know that. If you leave, I will expose the secret you have with your brother that has ruined his so-called marriage. Yes. So you choose to spend the night with me? Oh yes, baby. I need sex. Hot one for that matter for you. A long night of love making non-stop. Or you choose to watch a marriage go down the drain. Mr. Smart Husband. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> That's me. Oh, you think I came to Nigeria to just roam about? With no plans. <laughs> you must be joking. So you know about my brother? <laughs> what else do you know about him? I also know that your brother was in cell for killing his pregnant lover. Oh, lest I forget in detail, you killed him just to cover up all traces. <laughs> but for how long? <laughs> come, 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 come here. Take this thing. Take this. Your friend might say, make I give you. Behave yourself if you like. Behave yourself. Dragged his friend to the supermarket where he put those stuff for his friend, your brother. Meanwhile, you already had a police waiting. But yet, another alternative showed up because he said he was going to the cell to see his friend. <laughs> you injected the juice.
So you killed your own flesh and blood just to cover up? Sandra, I love my wife. He wanted to see my wife, but refused to take my request. That is none of my business. I just wanted to let you know that I know all the games you've been playing. Yes. Sandra. You don't have a choice. Are you trying to blackmail me? No. Just a night together. That's all I want. And they are watching, just so you know. Just in case you try to sniff life out of me. <laughs> and who's watching? <laughs> That's you know when you try anything funny. You know, I still feel the pain. The anger. The depression. That you have cost me all these years. By picking a duck over me. I apologized. I said I was sorry. Oh, no, don't be sorry, baby boy. <laughs> I'm just fine with you by my side. Chidemma. Mama, what is it? I have been observing you. What is the matter? Oh. Chidemma, you are not fine. You are my daughter. You are my child. I know you very well. I know everything is not fine with you. The night is full of worry. Everybody's anxious. Myself, I cannot sleep. I believe you're going through the same thing as well. Mama, I said I'm fine. I'm just worried about my children. And, and I, I don't know, I, I had a terrible dream. But I'll be fine. A terrible dream about what? I dreamt my husband died. What? God forbid. I mean, you mean your ex-husband? Mama, I'm just feeling restless. I don't know how I'm feeling. I, I don't know. Yes. 
<laughs> Mom, what is it? Some other moon that you are sick. Your body is very hot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jasmine, be fast with the water now. You're not sleeping. You're hearing the cat cry. A cat? Yes. What is a cat doing in our compound? I am troubled. I just finished speaking with her, her daughter right now. She said her husband went for a meeting. And up to now, he's not back. She has tried the lines and the lines wouldn't connect. Are you serious? Yes, I am very troubled. And what? Gina, she's not sleeping. She said she had a terrible dream where she saw Kenneth die. Ex-husband? Yes. As we speak, she's in her room, rolling through and through on her bed. She's not sleeping. This is terrible. I have never felt the way I, I, I feel right now. I must tell you the truth. I am afraid. What, what are you afraid of? What is a more said? Uh, yes. I feel very cold inside. What kind of meeting is that? Eh? Are you sure it's a business meeting? I don't even know. That's what he told me. And his line is not reachable till now. That's the most confusing part. I don't even know who do I start calling now. Hi. Honey. Where have you been? Where are my kids? They are in the room. Honey? 
Honey, are you okay? Why is he acting weird? Honey! Honey! 